In this presentation, we will take a look at header and footer report options using the balance sheet as an example within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home tab we currently have the open windows open you can open the open windows by going to the view drop down up top and selecting the open windows list we're now going to take a look at the headers and footers we're going to do that with the example of the balance sheet the header and footer options however can be used with just about any type of report we have we will have similar options in other words for many different types of reports we're going to go to the reports drop down first and go to the company and financial then go on down to our balance sheet standard the report that we will be working with the report for which we will be changing the headers and footers so here is our balance sheet we're going to change the date to 12 31 19 or december 31st 2019 that's going to give us our practice data that we can now work with when considering the headers and footers we are of course considering these items mainly which is going to be the report name that's going to be typical with just about any type of, or with the company name which will be typical with just about any type of report we're going to put our the company name on top every time and then the report that we have balance sheet in this case as of a balance sheet is typically as of one point in time so it's going to give us either as of or a date range for the period ended or some type of date range language depending on the type of report and pretty much all reports are that way. We're either we're reporting our company, we're reporting the name of the report, and it's either going to be for a point in time or oftentimes for many different types of reports other than the balance sheet will be reporting for a range, a month, a year, something like that. So that's going to be the header information. The footer information we, we would see if we were going to go to the print preview by going to the print, if we print the report, and then we take a look at the preview we'll see that the footer now just consists of a page number here so that's where the footer goes we can obviously change some of the footer information as well so i'm going to close this back out and we're going to go into some of our options now for the changing of the headers and footers to find that we're going to go into the customize reports so we will customize the reports once again we're going to go to the headers and footers tab this time I'm going to move this to the side a little bit. Now, last time, remember that we removed these three. So you could still do that. We could remove those if we want and get rid of those. Now we're going to take a look at these options for the, the company name, report title, subtitle. So clearly we could change our company name if we had some kind of uh, more official name that we wanted to put there or, or, or if we want to remove the name entirely. Of course, we can remove the name if it was a company we can you know add a company terminology or delete a company terminology just to give an example it won't show until we hit ok and then we've got the balance sheet so that's going to be our custom report that's the report type we have now we've seen in prior presentations that we can do a whole lot of different things to the balance sheet and and change what the balance sheet actually is we can have a comparative balance sheet we can have a balance sheet without uh, any percentage uh, percentage balance sheet vertical analysis horizontal analysis so this could be the starting point and anytime we make a change to the balance sheet we would then possibly want to change what the balance sheet is to whatever you know new report we made if we made a comparison balance sheet we might, might want to add the word comparison so if I'm just going to put balance sheet adjusted ADJ in some way and so and once we compare that and change the headings then we can save these reports and we can then go into them and, and have whatever name is most appropriate from the thing we started with which was a balance sheet to to what we ended with which could be some kind of comparison or something that could be pretty different than just a, a normal balance sheet that's just the starting point we had and then the date is much the same if, if we have the date of the normal balance sheet it's going off of the of the normal date and the, and the standard report typically and so it's going to be as of December 31st, 2019. But if we change it to monthly or something like or, or weekly, then we're going to have some kind of comparison and we're going to want to change this date to be better appropriated to whatever range that we have. So it could be December 31st. It, we, we might have, you know, November and December or something like that. November and 
December that we were now reporting. So we just want to make sure that whatever range that we actually adjusted on the reports is going to be reflected in this date range uh, here. Or we can, of course, remove the date range if we don't want it. But typically, we would want some type of date range to let us know what we are talking about within uh, the heading of the report. This item here is going to print the header on multiple pages, meaning if, if it was more than one page long and we were to print this, the second page would still have this header before it went on to the, to the next data on the next page. That's going to be the default. So instead of us having, for example, the bottom line being equity on the second page, and it's just having a line with equity on it, a whole page, which is, it's going to show the header and footer <laughs> and then that equity section on the second page. So if we look at this now, just to see what these changes, you'd have to actually hit OK to see these changes. And they'll show up top here. We'll say OK. And that'll give us some of our adjustments we had to the company and this adjustment in the header footer here. So very useful whenever we adjust the reports. Whenever we take something from the standard report, whatever we started with, made substantial adjustments to it, we're going to have to change the, the name of the report and probably the date ranges. Once we do so, it's going to be useful to memorize the reports. We'll talk about that a little bit later because then we, we can start to get to pretty substantial changes. Once we change the report, we've got to make sure to change the date names, the name of a report. Uh, it's a lot easier to save those types of re reports and be able to go directly to them where those changes have been made. And the numbers will just update as the dates that we choose will change with the date ranges. So we'll go back to the customized report up top. Let's go back to the headers and footers. We then have the alignment and they give us three defaults on the alignment. So the standard is as you see here, we have the left line, just gonna move the title to the left. So if we were to say, okay, it moves it over there. And then we're gonna say customized reports, headers and footers. Obviously same thing if we, if we move it to the right, it would do the same thing. So those are going to be those options. Then the footers here, and I'll, we could revert back to the standard down here, which is going to be the standard. So if we go to the to the show footer here, now footer options, we've got the page number, and we can have a different kind of format of the page number. That's going to be standard, meaning it's going to say page one, page two in the footer. Then we've got the extra footer, which we could put our name on the, the footer, you know, whatever we want on the footer that might help us to customize we might want to put another some kind of customization into the footer section and then we can print the footer on the first page or not sometimes we might have a report sometimes uh, people like to have the first page not have the footer and not possibly on the second page that's where the footer starts uh, the default will be to have the footer on the first page we say okay to check the footer you can't just scroll down to the report you got to go to the print and then reports and then take a look at the preview. And we'll see down here, if we zoom in, we've got the page and we've got the name here. So that's how the footer will line up. Closing this back out, closing this back out. Those are gonna be our major options for the standardizations of the headers and footers. You wanna uh, make sure that you line up the different types of header options and footer options with the different kinds of standard or customized reports that you make as you customize from the standard reports. And then again, we'll talk about how to memorize those once done so we don't have to repeat that process every time. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.